Hello everyone, it's Trina here from thereisacardforthat.ca and today I am going to do just a little bit of a review of these Craft Smart inks that I showed in my last mixed haul, which was really long, so hopefully you got to this part of them. And uh, basically I want to see how they stamp solids, I want to see how they stamp lined images and so I'm going to be using this Verve Stamps set called Autumn Splendor and I'm going to use these large solid leaves and I'm going to use these lined large leaves um, just because they're from the same set and I like them. Uh, so they came in a bunch of um, packages of six and I had gotten three packages because I was all excited about the colors, right? We remember that. And these were the duplicates. So if they're good, great. I have extras because they're really pretty colors. Um, if they're not good, then my kids got something to play with, right? Um, so I'm going to be stamping on a piece of Bristol Smooth just because I had it out on my craft desk. I did a little bit of cleaning up, but not a whole lot. Um, so I'm going to assume that the formula for all of them is the same. Like there's no there's no indications, there's no, it just says acid free and conforms to ASTMD-4236. I don't know what that is, but all right, conforms to it, so that's good. Um, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp the solid image in what looks like an olivey green, and I can't it's a foam pad, it's not felt, so I suspect that it's actually a pigment ink, which you'd think they would have like written on the package, right? Um, so we're just gonna stamp this, and I think, yeah, I think it is. I think it's a pigment ink. It doesn't have a smell, but it has a kind of a sticky kind of feeling texture to it. And it's not bad. I mean, it's not spectacular, but it gives a nice solid image. Um, I think I have some, some water here, so maybe we'll test it out with water too. I mean, if they work like distress inks or distress oxide inks, that would be pretty cool. Um, so I'm going to do the solid ones the lined ones, and then I'm going to do a little bit of blending right over here. And we're going to do blending with this corally color and this yellow color to see if we can get like a peachy orange color because we all know how I feel about peachy orange. Um, so I want to go a little bit darker here. They don't have a lot in like the deep colors, like navy would be nice. Like even this blue seems kind of, seems kind of light, but I don't know if you can see that, like, it's definitely got a chalky surface. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely going with some type of pigment or maybe even a chalk ink. Press that down. Really crisp, really crisp images. I'll have a picture of this little swatchy thing at the end. but looks pretty okay to me. Uh, let's start with this one. It's very shiny. I don't know. I don't know, let's see. Ooh, very inky. This one's definitely, definitely inky. I don't know if you can see the bubbles, but definitely inky. And we're just gonna go in little circles. Goes on a lot like the Distress Oxides. Not as vibrant, for sure. Um, but pretty nice. Pretty nice would be good for a, a background, maybe. I don't know. Um, it'd be nice if they had names. They just, they really don't. They don't have any names on here. I'll go with the yellow. Yellow is way less inky than the, than the red, or the corally color. Oh, they blend pretty nice. Very smooth blending. Uh, I don't feel like I have to work a lot to get that 
orange color in the middle kind of reminds me of um, dried marigold in the distress. It's not super smooth the way you would see the distress inks, but it's not too bad. Um, seems to sit on top. You could probably, you could probably actually use this as um, a colored embossing ink and do clear embossing over it. If it is a pigment ink, it'll stay wet a little bit longer and uh, it'll hold the embossing powder. So we'll give that a try. So I'm just gonna go, sorry, the water's a little dirty. That's from another card. Um, I'm just gonna go over it like this. They do react with water, um, so that's, that's super cool. That's super great. Like, kin, right out. That's awesome. Oh yeah, that looks good. That'll be super good for, um, fur. <laughs> Talk. Hanging out with my daughter too much. She uses fur out instead of without, and it's like the last really cute thing that she does. Uh, yeah, but so it totally reacts with water. That's very cool. Um, So you could probably even use them as, ooh, look at how pretty that is, as a watercolor kind of paint, like smoosh it on a palette and then paint it up. But that's very cool. I will definitely be giving these a try, like on something real soon. They're pretty, pretty vibrant, but uh, that's really nice. That would look good as like a, a messy kind of watercolor. And then we'll just take this real quick clean it off, cleans off a lot, like a, just like a pigment ink, gets right in there. Um, so that's probably still a little bit wet, but whatever, we're gonna go for it, because it was four bucks for a pack of six. Um, and any way we can save money, hey? That's the way I look at it. I would much rather spend my money on art supplies or stamps than this. Normally I would probably do this overlapping stamp stuff um, in the misty, just so I can line it up. I don't wanna put my head right in there. Oh, I didn't do too badly, it's off a little bit. So, sorry. Um, but good for layering, layering stamps. And just blend it out. Oh, that's pretty good. Messy watercolor and then maybe some embossing over top. I think that would look really nice. All right, well, that is my first little mini product review video, and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, at four bucks for six, uh, well, in Canada, I don't know what they might be in, in, in the States, but um, I recommend giving them a try. Like, it's a really nice blend. This is, again, Bristol Smooth, so I would expect pretty near the same results on a watercolor paper. Uh, again, I don't know how that would work on a regular paper, but I'll probably give that a try in the future. Uh, if you like this video, thank you so much for watching. Please give it a thumbs up and thank you so much for your commenting and subscribing and everything like that. I really, really appreciate it. I will have a picture of this nice close-up at the end and links to my blog and my Facebook page down below. Thanks very much. Have a great day. Bye.